time for gardening, spending more time outside, and stink bugs. It's annoying, but it's true. This is prime time for those irritating pests. There may be a safe new way to get rid of them, though. Question, of course, is, does it really do that? Jennifer Ankoviak's here with results of her test on the Struby stink bug trap. Let's have it, Jen. Well, you know, the story behind this trap is really something. A local man, Andy Struby, had a major stink bug problem in his house in the woods. When one fell onto a plate of food, enough was enough. Andy put his problem-solving skills to work, and the Struby stink bug trap was born. It promises to be the last stop a stink bug makes, but does it really do that? Ta-da! Here it is, the Struby stink bug trap. Marketed as using a killer combination of light, scent, and gooey glue to ensure no one escapes, this non-toxic indoor trap claims to be a trifecta of stink bug stopping power. It's hanging here in Doug Oster's sun porch. He's the Post-Gazette's gardening editor. He talks and blogs about many different gardening issues, but recently, stink bugs have been the most popular subject. Doug's had this new trap up for about a week. How does it work? Basically, there's a bright light in here, bright fluorescent light. And then above the light, there is a cartridge, a replaceable cartridge, that has a cocktail of, yep, okay. that has a cocktail of pepper and squash put together, because these bugs love peppers and squash. Mm -hmm. And so when the light is on, it heats up and releases an odor. I can never smell the odor. I can't smell anything. But the bugs are drawn to it. They're drawn to the light, and they're drawn to that... Uh, that pepper smell, pepper okay. and squash smell. So the stink bugs fly toward the trap, thinking they're going to get food, but instead they get stuck. Is this sticky enough that if a stink bug flies into it, there's really very little chance you think of it flying away? Okay. <laughs> Pretty sticky. Once it's there, it's trapped, huh? No bug is getting away from that. <laughs> As you can see, it's catching stink bugs. It's creepy, but Doug points out it's even creepier to think of the effects of a major infestation, which is exactly what the inventor was dealing with. Look at the pictures from his website. Stink bugs covering everything. Now, Doug found there are some tricks to using this trap. You have to set it in one place and leave it on all the time. And it's a bright light, so it's not going to be a place where you're going to be able to sleep. You're going to have to go to another room. And you just leave it there for days. You can't keep moving it around. Also, the temperature in the room matters. The warmer the temperature in the room, the more active the bugs are going to be. They're cold blood. Struby stink bug trap sells in some local hardware stores and online for $50 and claims to be well worth the investment for people crazy with stink bugs. Does it really do that? Definitely. It's filled with bugs. I don't have a bad infestation. I was surprised at how many I caught. All right. Did you hear that part? That is important. Doug said... He only ever saw one, maybe two a week flying around, and you saw all of them were, that were on that trap in just a little bit of time. So that's a little scary when you think about it, for him to have caught that many. It shows how good, and I hate to put this thought into your heads, but it shows how good these creatures are at hiding out in the little cracks and crevices of your home. So if you see one or two... Um, chances are very good. I'm very sorry to tell you yeah. that they have friends, and it's just a matter of time before it warms up enough for those little guys to come out. It's happening. It's happening. Every people are it talking is. about. It. I could see people though coming into, say, Doug Oster's house and thinking, hmm, nice guy, but he's got some really weird <laughs> ideas about home decor. Very odd decorations. Yeah, not, not at and all. And you can't really. hide it. It has to be out there. It has to be the, the primary idea. light source in the room. Yeah. Um, so it, it's going to stand out wherever you put it. And they're not giving off the stink. When no, they're stuck we with their little smell, legs on there? We didn't smell anything. Even the the concoction that is used to lure them, that pepper and squash, yeah. can, that doesn't even smell like anything. I've never smelled a stink bug. You're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> you're okay. lucky. Right, Good. So. Um, but, the, yeah, so that part of it wasn't around. It's just, it's hard to get over the sight of it. Yeah. But as Doug pointed out, and as that inventor from the video you saw from his house, if you've got a problem that is that bad oh, in your house, bad. you probably get to the point where I don't care what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want them in my food. Thank okay. you very much. So, so. Yeah. so icky, but it works. Icky, but it works. That's the go. stamp I give that one. <laughs> All Thanks, right. Jen. Okay. Thanks.